Hey, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on DCAs and how to set them up in TradeLab. First thing we're going to do is go to the community strategies. And I've already set up a generic and dynamic DCA template for us to start with. Let's go ahead and start with the generic DCA template. If we just hit copy and then hit yes. All right, and now we have our generic DCA template. I'll go ahead and hit edit. So this template is pretty simple. It's really just made to do buys and sells uh, based off of a simple alert. Uh, you can modify this to do whatever you need, um, but this is really more of an example of how to set up stop losses for DCA. So if we take a look at the stop loss um, setup over here, we can see the configure TPSL button. If we click on this, it will uh, open up the TPSL line builder and we can see that by default, this template comes with three DCA lines. Uh, each line is set up 2% uh, away from each other. So we have two, four and 6%. And each time that we hit those, we're going to increase our position by 50%. Okay, so in order to edit these, uh, we can click the edit button. This will bring us through a wizard, which will ask us where we want to place the line. We can edit it. So instead of saying 2%, if we wanted to say, you know, $5 um, off of our current entry price, we could do that. Um, so I'll say 2% here. And then when the line is hit, what do we want to do? We want to add to position because this is the DCA. So we'll hit next. How much do you want to take? Um, or how much do you want to add rather. For this one, uh, we do 50% of the original amount. So the original amount uh, allows you to uh, base a percentage off of what you entered with. If you did a uh, percentage of position, this is the current position. So for example, if I wanted to add 100% of my current position, then that would mean that the first time I add, it's gonna double my position of what I originally put in. But now that 200% becomes 100% of the position. So the next time that I uh, hit a line, if I do another 100% of position, it's gonna be four times, because I'm going to take that times two and I'm going to double it. So it's gonna be four times. So it's an exponential growth there. If you don't want that to happen, you can do of original amount. And now we can say 100%, so I'll rebuy the same amount that I did every time over and over, right? So I can hit next. What type of order do you want to place? Limit order or market order? Hit next and then we can uh, name our line. I'll say DCA line one, all right? So there's our DCA. I edited it to say 100% uh, instead of 50%. Uh, if we want to add another line, we can do that and walk through the same process. We can add multiple lines if we want. So if I want to add several more lines, this is how many more lines I want to add. So I already have three. So if I add five more, that'll be a total of eight lines. Next, where do I want to place my five stop lines? I'll place them with an offset from the entry price. And how do we want to place my stop lines? I can do equally spaced or pick offsets for each. Um, I'll do offsets for each to show you how that works. And actually we'll do both. So we'll do equally spaced first and then I'll edit it. Um, and then when the lines are hit, do you want them to all take or add the same amount? Uh, I'll show you how to pick amounts for each. So when it's asking where do we wanna place our lines, I said I wanted them to be equally spaced. So this is a great way for me to uh, create eight lines very, very quickly. So I can say I want to start, I know that I'm doing two, four, and six. Say I want to just keep going. So we'll start at 6% with an offset of two. So that'll make it to where it's six, eight, 10, 12, and so on. And actually we already have a six, so we want to start at eight. So we want to go eight, 10, 12, uh, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Okay. so. Uh, we'll offset with that, and actually with these extra ones, I'll do an offset of 0 0.5 to make it more interesting. All right, we'll hit next. When the lines are hit, what do we want to do? 
uh, I'll go ahead and add to my position. And how much do I want to rebuy in? Uh, well, I'll do say, um, you know, I could do 10% of my original amount, then I could do 20%, then I could do another 20%, and then maybe I do 50%, 50% at the end. Okay, so these are my extra five lines here that I'm making for a total of eight lines. This is how much I'm taking on each line level and uh, or adding, not taking. We're doing DCA, so we're adding. Uh, what type of order do I want to place? I'll do limit again, and I'll call these DCA line uh, level two. All right, and so now we have our five different lines and these level two ones are special because they're doing a uh, 0.5 um, on the offset. So this here, if I wanted to do an add line again and I wanna say stop loss, I can add more lines. And this time, if I do pick offsets for each, it'll be uh, much like we did last time uh, but we'll be able to pick the offset spe uh, specifically. So I can do 12%, 15%, 20%, um, or I can even make one USD and the rest of them be percentage, right? Uh, I can hit next here, go ahead and uh, go through the rest of this. And name my line. DCA level three. All right, now I have a ton of different lines here. So that's how you set up DCA lines in Trade Lab. When you hit save, all these lines will be saved and ready to go. Um, they'll be placed on the exchange as soon as you enter. Uh, and we'll just be rebuying uh, into our DCA as it goes down. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at how to set up basic DCAs in Trade Lab. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us on Discord. And you can also go to the bottom of any page and click the help button. You can type in your questions here and also create a support ticket to ask questions directly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates and have a good one.